Hi everyone, welcome back to the Export to Europe series. I'm actually shooting this video from Singapore, where I just delivered uh, a talk uh, to Murdi Singapore, uh, a tech incubator. As, as I delivered that talk, uh, at the end of the session, I had a lot of questions around uh, channels. So I thought I'd talk to you about the questions that came up. So obviously channels is uh, one of the seven pillars in our method and it's a very uh, an essential part of your strategy into the European market, having the right partner, distributor and uh, distribution channels. And so the questions, the two questions that came from the panel um, from the audience today, uh, which were tech companies out of Singapore, were quite interesting. Uh, one of them was well, if I have different choices from channel partners, should I just work with plenty of channel partners to see which one works out? It's actually the contrary. You should really take your time to choose the right partner and, uh, and you diligence them. Once you've selected them, you work with a small number of them. Because it's, for a small business, it takes a lot of time, energy and resources to train a distributor and get them activated. Focus on only uh, a few number of distributors would be my recommendation to start with, make them successful and then maybe expand into other distribution channels. The other uh, question was around how do you profile the right channel, the right distributor for your business. The way we, we do that at, at, at Exportia is that we always ask our clients with which distributor do you work that are working well for you and how do they look like so it means that you need to ask yourself the question do I want to work with a small or with a large distributor and also uh, what type so what should they look like in terms of size given that you need to keep in mind as a small business that working with sm very large uh, distributors might, it might take you longer to activate them whereas smaller distributor might be more active more quickly but they might not be your long-term partners and then uh, basically which industry sector should should they focus on so maybe banking insurance and government or chemicals um, agri agriculture so define your sectors that you want them to uh, target and then uh, which complementary product should they distribute? So maybe you found in your home country that uh, your distributors that work the best for you distributed this type of product that was complementary to yours. So, and then that's a very good way for you to find those distributors uh, in uh, the European market if you already know what type of product they distribute. And then what's also interesting to, to take uh, into account is how uh, are they marketing to their market? So are they marketing through catalogs online? Are they doing trade shows? Are they doing a lot of advertising in the press? What is their uh, marketing um, strategy and what are they good at? And does that fit with your business model, for example? And the last part is what role do you want them to play for you? Do you want them to only do the sales or do you want them to do level one support, technical support after sales? Uh, and then you need to recruit and engage those channels uh, according to those criteria. So that's it for today. Uh, hello everyone from Singapore and uh, I wish you um, the best in your export journey. And don't hesitate to tweet um, Export to Europe and start the dialogue with us and subscribe on our YouTube channel. Thank you, bye.